Your class uses an open educational resources textbook. OER textbooks are often free and easier to access because they are under a Creative Commons license. Creative Commons is a license that can apply to photographs, films, websites, and yes, even textbooks. It means that the person who made it still has copyright ownership, but they've chosen to make it shareable and easy to reproduce without copyright infringement. The one requirement for using Creative Commons material is attribution. As a student, you've probably already heard of attribution because when you cite your source, you're doing the same thing as attribution. You're giving credit to the author. Well, there is a helpful online form that helps you create attribution for Creative Commons materials. It is intended for giving the author credit when sharing a Creative Commons work in an online format. But when we give credit to a Creative Commons source in an academic paper, we must use the citation method that is required by the instructor. Let's talk about APA citations for Creative Commons works. In APA, we always cite the author's full last name followed by a comma, then their first initial. When your source doesn't have an author, we move the title to the beginning of the citation like this. Your title should be italicized, capitalize the first letter in all the major words along with the first word of the title and the subtitle. Words like in, the, or, and should be lowercase unless they are the first word of the title or the subtitle. Add the publication year in parentheses after the title. Add the publisher's name, but leave out the words publishers, co, or ink. In our case, University of Minnesota Libraries Publishing will leave out the word publishing. Add the URL or DOI of the resource. If you're redirected, use the final URL. When you quote or paraphrase a source, you'll need to use an in-text citation. For a resource without an author, we use the first one or two words in parentheses, then a comma, and then the year. Since we're using a book, our title is in italics. Ready for the MLA version? Full author's names should be listed the last name first, and we'll skip this since ours doesn't have an author. Your title should be italicized, capitalize the first letter in all the major words along with the first word of the title in the subtitle. Words like in, the, or, and should be lowercase unless they are the first word in the title or subtitle. We'll add the name of the publisher as well and omit any words that mean company, such as incorporated, limited, corporation, and company. That means we'll leave in the word publishing this time. Add a comma after the publisher and then add the published year. Add the URL or DOI of the resource. If you're redirected, use the final URL. Finally, we'll add the date of access to the very end with a period after that. An in-text citation for MLA also comes after the quote and before the punctuation. We'll use a shortened version of the title since we have no author. We italicize the title since it's a book. If you have questions about creating accurate citations, plagiarism, or accessing online textbooks, contact the librarians through the library website at library.shoreline.edu.